when we were on that dusty road uh, af on, on leading to the road of bones in Siberia. Yeah, leading up there, leading up to Cheetah, I think. Or when we were really You know, where tired. All, the, all the clouds of dust. Anyway, there was one truck, it was going just about the speed that we travelled at. So we were constantly <laughs> going in and out of his dust, right? And I thought, fuck, I was in the lead, I thought, I'm going to get, I'm going to take him. So I, I battled for quite, for about 15 minutes, going up, back up, and I, and I, ne I took him. I overtook this truck, <laughs> and I got in front of the truck, so then I was just looking at my at mirror, waiting to see Charlie, waiting to see Claudio. It take me 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to overtake this truck. And 10 or 15 minutes later, I had to let him overtake me because neither of them were gonna do it. One thing you have to remember, going 55 miles an hour, you know, there was a moment when you cannot see anything. You can't see the dials, anything. You even got past, and then there was a stretch of turns in the road, I remember, because I remember thinking, I've got to get past this truck. He kept using most of the road and it was, it was difficult. And then I just thought, oh, fuck this. <laughs> and I just thought of Charlie sitting behind the truck going, well, I'm not going to take it. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> There's a kind of sick pleasure to it. The overtaking where you can't see a thing. <laughs> this is complete white out. <laughs> Thinking about low moments. <laughs> you know, coming up, the only puncture, the only proper puncture we ever had. On my bike. Can you believe it? Right, ripped the sidewall of my tyres. There's no way of, of, of doing it. And, and I'm at the back, and you're always dodgy about Claudia being in front of you anyway, because you never know what you're going to do. So you always give him a bit of a wide berth anyway. But, 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 uh, but I, so I get this flat tyre, and, you know, the desk settles, and, and I'm thinking, oh, they'll be here in a sec. Yeah. You know, be here in a sec. And it's 45 minutes later, they come back. Good night, Ewan. And I'm thinking... You know, if I'd fallen off and line. I could have been lying in that ditch, bleeding. I'm a bit fucking angry with Claudio. Because right. it's taken me about 40 minutes to get back. I arrived back and totally just blamed Claudio <laughs> yeah, for the whole exactly, thing. Totally. That had been Claudio's fault, let's it face was. it. Yeah, but it if it had just been on her own, that's not all right, you know what I mean? Oh, of course, yeah. He's fucking wild with the Brompton. 